It takes so much to break those cultural barriers with people. You know, I don't know how old your parents are. My parents are in their 50s. Okay, they were really young when they had me in their, in their 50s. So in order for them to be adjusted enough to actually listen to hip hop, 20 years ago, they would have had to have been exposed. And if they weren't in the right culture, in the right environment, they weren't exposed to, to what was coming out then. What, I mean, what, Run DMC and things like that. They didn't have that in their lives. It wasn't part of their culture. They didn't grow up with any vein of commonality to this kind of music at all. And, and a lot of people argue that it's not music. People will be like, that's not really music. That's lyrical. Well, how about creating original beats? That doesn't count. Well, it's not an instrument. Well, yeah, yeah, it is. Um, it, of course it's music. It's absurd to say that it's not music. I can't believe it. The people that are saying this argument are the people that have had no exposure at all. And those people will never, ever, ever come to see a show. So I'm not gonna chase them down. Why bother? Promote to people who will maybe open up their minds and give it a chance. You know, it's bike time right now. Um, with the appearance of being Seagull and State Property, and then I have a funk jam band in the Blue Note, which is a kind of a fun juxtaposition. Right. It's not, I don't expect to see many bikers, you know? Right. But tomorrow I have a heavy hitting rock show, and I think the bikers might come to that. Right. So if we can open that up and get everybody from all different genres coming to the same venue, maybe over time it'll start to overlap. Yeah. And people that wouldn't come to see that show before will have some limited exposure to a point where they're like, oh, all right. 